So last night I was building a couple of NuGet packages and I realized that this could be a quite good topic for a video. So if you never heard about NuGet packages, essentially there are the pieces of a code which you can easily reuse in the different projects without adding a direct reference or having even a complete source code of it. Um, what I did last night is I was building a packages and I was building a CI CD pipelines and this is exactly what I would like to do today. So how do we build uh, NuGet packages? So I'm just going to do a right click on the solution and add a new project. I'm going to choose a class library in this case. I'm going to go on the next and I'm going to call it super random. And I'm going to go on the next. I'm going to choose the target framework. In my case, this is a .NET 5 and I'm going to click a create. So this is going to bring us with a very plain project. Um, the good candidate to extract to the NuGet package is a logic that can be reused in, with the different projects, obviously. So in my case, I would like to extract those randomizer to another library, which is a super random. So I'm just going to paste the code here, which I already have, and I'm going to just rename also the, the physical name of the file. And that's it. So let me just build a solution right now, sorry, the project right now, and if you can see, I have successfully built a solution. There is nothing in my debug, everything is fine. So what I can do is I can just uh, go ahead on the properties of the project and I can go on a package tab and I can check generate NuGet package on build. So here I can change everything that I want, like this, uh, uh, the package ID, I can change the author to be size of eight, company size of eight, um, description, uh, random numbers, something like this, uh, copyright, everything you can put and here I'm just going to say in it create just, just, just for fun of it. Now I will again build my uh, project and now I should actually have my NuGet package, which is exactly here. So we are successful, we have created our first NuGet package, but it is on our local machine. Now we need to put it on a feed. So before I do this, I'm just going to go and I'm going to commit changes, adding random NuGet, super random NuGet. I'm going to say commit all and push. This is just for fun. Um, and let's see, is it going to work as expected? Obviously not. And let's just see. Okay, successfully pushed to origin, great. So now, um, what I have in my test project is I have a place here which is called Artifact. So Artifact is being used to host your uh, packages. So I can click on the create feed right here and I can say, uh, we can name this one um, size of eight. Members of any size, I'm going to also use this as, as a proxy for my, uh, for my uh, other packages in the NuGet org, etc. So I'm going to click create button. And after I did this, I have already created my, my feed so I can go to the pipelines. So now in a pipeline, I can create a new pipeline, which is going to push my package to that feed. So I'm just going to click on the new, uh, new pipeline. I'm, again, I'm going to use a classic editor. It's a bit easier to, <clears throat> sorry, to understand. I just have, where which branch was I using? Dev, okay, I'm going to use the dev branch uh, as a default branch. I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to use an empty job. So now I'm going to add one job, which is going to be a restore, oh, sorry, nuget.net core. I'm going to need one for restore. I'm going to need one for build. Um, so let me just do this restore and here what I'm going to just do quickly is I'm going to use a bit of a wildcard here and I'm going to go again quickly to my project and I'm going to say super random. Let's see. So I'm just going to choose the name of that project and I'm going to say super random everywhere and then this is going to be of a type CS project so I'm just going to use it for this one. Um, I'm going to build also just this one and then uh, this is going to obviously as you see uh, create our NuGet package. So what I need to do is I would also need to copy files. Uh, so the copy files what is going to actually do is going to copy file from one place 
to another. And what I want to do is in the source folder, um, and hopefully I'm going to use the super random folder, I'm going to search for the contents which has NuGet package uh, extension. So extension means I will also need a dot. And target folder, in my case, is going to be build that artifact uh, staging directory. So this is going to be my target folder. Let me see. Do I ah? I always write this manually, and there is a there is a way to to put it here. So what now I can do? I can add one more step, and I can say um, I, I don't actually need to publish them I can I can get to NuGet tool installer and I can use this one so now using this tool NuGet installer um, I, I will obviously get a NuGet and then I will get a NuGet as well and then using this NuGet I'm going to be able to push so uh, push already searched uh, automatically for my build artifact staging directory. For, he's going to search for all the NuGet packages. So the criteria which I specified previously, and I'm going to just choose the feed, which is going to be a size of an eight. And that would actually be it. So what we can do now is we can test it out. So let's do this. I'm going to click save and queue. Ah, maybe just rename it to publish. Super, super randomizer. Save and queue. Uh, I'm not going to use, I'm going to use the local machine container and then I'm going to click save and run. So let's see, uh, is this going to work as expected? And here it is. So our build pipeline is over. I can go now to the artifacts and if I just check it out, I will see that I have my new package, which is called super random. Now, what I can do now is I can actually in a business, I can delete this logic from this randomizer, which is referenced in a couple of different places. So it is being obviously uh, used in, in the minifier, but I'm just going to delete the randomizer and I'm going to see where does it miss. So now what I can do, I can just go to the business, I can say manage NuGet packages and I can choose uh, the package sources which I want to use. So my package source is not still visible here. So what I can do is I can press the settings part here and I can just go ahead quickly and uh, back to my DevOps and oops, I want to connect to the feed. And this is going to give me some basic information. How do I connect to the feed? It will give me the URL, which I can use, which is right here. So I'm just going to use, I'm just going to actually press the plus and I'm going to say, I'm going to put a source and I'm going to say size of eight. Um, and I'm going to click update. Okay. And now if I filter it to the size of eight, I'm going to be able to browse the packages and I should be able to see my package, which is super random size of eight. I can install it right here. Just give it a second. It will download everything. Sometimes it takes a bit longer than you would do because it actually searches from different sources. Installing, okay, perfect, we have it. Now I can just import the reference from the packages which I was using. Same thing here, I would, be, I would have to add a reference also to this project. Installed is from the size of eight. It would be, would be, would be super random. And then I would also install it on a unit tests. I would install it here, say, okay. And I will need to change re uh, reference. Great. Perfect. So let me just build the solution. And everything works fine. That's it. This is the, how we how we build the project. So if you have some additional updates to the package, you can always uh, add your new release notes, what you did, and uh, you can change the version of the package and uh, your pipeline is still going to work and be able to push the newer version. So that's it. Thank you very much.